guys, welcome back to Get The Gloss. Today I'm going to talk to you about the products that I have been using over the course of September. Now September's a bit of a funny month, isn't it? Because you come back from holiday and your skin is all dry, you're probably feeling a bit low, uh, your hair's all frazzled and you feel you've got to sort of perk yourself up again. It all The holiday fades quite quickly and you need products, I think, in your life to make you feel better. It's amazing what a product does for your emotional state of mind. The products I've been using over the course of September we're also going to be giving away at the end of this vlog, so stay tuned. So basically the first product that I've been using has been Saint Tropez Gradual Tan. Now I use it for the body and also for the face. Now I have been a big fan of Saint Tropez since, since it very very first came out when I used to work at Glamour magazine. Um, I was the beauty editor of Glamour yeah, years ago uh, when it very first launched. Um, actually I was the deputy beauty editor, then I became the beauty editor. But um, basically Saint Tropez launched and it was revolutionary. No one had actually ever seen a self tan like it. And everyone went around stinking for quite a long time and looking very, very brown. If those days at Glamour had a smell, I would say that they smell of Saint Tropez tan. But anyway, um, I'm not much of a fan of really dark tans anymore. I think it can just look a bit dated, in fact. But what I do really love is a gradual tan. So this is Saint Tropez Gradual Tan, and this one is in light. Now, I use the light one, but I also use the dark one as well. Um, because they're a gradual tan, they don't add a huge amount of colour, they just add a hint. Now, I've got it on at the moment, I think I'll be right in saying there are no streaks, which is amazing. Um, it's quite foolproof, you really have to try quite hard to get really good streaks with this. Um, and this one's actually, for, yeah, that one's dark for the face, and I've got this on my face too, so as you can see it's not really, really dark. Um, it just gives a bit of a hint of colour and keeps your summer glow that bit longer. In fact, I'll be totally honest, I actually use these products all year round because I can't bear looking like um, a pale boiled egg. So that's, that's why I use a lot. You're back at work and you've had a stressful day and I find it really therapeutic and really relaxing to light a candle. Now my favourite is Neom. Now Neom is run by a very good friend of mine, Nicola Elliott, who actually used to work at Glamour magazine with me. Now um, Nicola started this brand because at the time there weren't really any other like organic or natural candles on the market, or hardly any anyway. And she was actually quite worried about the fumes that other candles were giving off. Anyway, the point of this brand uh, because they also do body care and bath care, is that it is sent to make you feel good. That's what it says on top. It is therapeutic, so it actually can lift your mood, can make you feel better. And this smells incredible. Um, I can smell it through the box. This is one we're going to be giving away. It's brand new, I haven't touched it. And it contains Lang Lang, frankincense and patchouli. So it's soothing, relaxing and also rejuvenating. So if you're back at work, you're feeling really stressed, your boss is being a nightmare, this will make you feel better. And the brand has also just got undergone um, an amazing uh, repackaging design and it looks beautiful. So love, love, love. Okay, next on my list is, what's next? Ah, okay, love this product, okay. Uh, Lancôme launched this, I think, a month or so ago. It's called the Grandiose Mascara. And uh, if you haven't heard of it, then basically what isn't very new about it is its amazing swan-shaped wand. I don't know if you can see that. But basically, it's tilted up. So, it has basically been designed so it fits to the ergonomics of your face. So you don't need to work very hard to get it into the roots of your lashes. And if you see there, it just sort of misses your nose without you having to get your arm round and, you know, it, you don't have to work as hard with it, basically. Um, and when it comes to the actual mascara, it is actually a great product as well. It separates the lashes, elongates them, fans them out, doesn't clog, lasts all day, very clever. I can envisage a lot of brands 
copying this design because it's very clever or doing some I predict a lot of spin-offs of wonky ones basically uh, it's quite revolutionary and it's great so we've got one of those to give away as well and okay what else have we got okay Sarah Chapman's morning facial product basically uh, Sarah Chapman is an amazing facialist in London really lovely lady very very good at what she does um, very good at helping with skin issues and problems and she's a big believer in facial oils as am I and when you come back from your holiday your skin can be really parched really dry a bit malnourished basically and uh, this is called the Skinesis Morning Facial. Skinesis is the name of um, a line of her products, basically. Um, and this contains passion flower, uh, baobab oil, barrage oil, argan oil, rosehip oil. It's basically full of lots of amazing ingredients. And it's for use in the morning. And if your skin is particularly dry, I would use a couple of drops underneath your moisturiser or you can use it on its own. I actually use it on its own because I find a moisturiser as well a bit much. But um, the thing is about an oil is because our skin has a certain amount of oil in it, it's made up of oil as well, that it recognises oil and oils go deep into the skin. Unlike moisturisers which can't really go that deep into the skin. So um, it really will nourish the most sort of dried, fried skin. So. Um, yeah, that's a bit of tender loving care for your skin. Okay, and last but by no means least is another oil called Phyto Paris Hui Supreme, which is basically a rich smoothing oil for dry, thick and rebellious hair. Now, um, a lot of people think that if you use oil in your hair it's going to make it really greasy. But again, it's something that your hair like recognises because you have oil in your scalp, etc. And you'll find that if you use the right amount, don't use too much, otherwise you can end up like an oil slick. But if you use a, a small bit, especially on the ends, then your hair will probably absorb it, especially if you've had highlights like me, or your hair is thick, curly, or perhaps even afro. Um, they will benefit from this kind of oil, for sure. And I've been using this over the last month, and my hair is definitely softer than it was when I came back from holiday. So there we go, those are my products that I've been using over the course of the last month. And we're gonna be giving them all away. So here they are, here's a whole new set. We have a whole new set, new set. Da -da. Da -da. And basically, what you have to do is, if you could like this video, and then in the comments section below, if you could say, uh, the products you've been using and why you love them. I'd love to hear all about them. I'm always really fascinated by the products that other people like as well. Um, so yes, yeah, so thanks for watching and I'll be back next week and I'm going to be talking about the best sculpting products on the market. So stay tuned for that. Um, oh, and this competition is going to be running for two weeks. So thanks a lot and see you soon. Bye.